Star Trek. Discovery's Hannah Cheeseman reveals Arium's link to the next generation. In Star Trek, Discovery's latest episode, Project Daedalus the series, takes a shocking twist as a relatively minor character is suddenly the focus of the story. Though primarily a background crew member in Season 1, the cybernetically enhanced Commander Arium has become a more prominent member of the crew of the USS Discovery this season. And now, Arium's actions in Episode 9 pivot the rest of the story of Season 2 in an entirely unexpected direction. Syfy Wire spoke to the woman behind Arium, Hannah Cheeseman, just before the big episode aired. Cheeseman revealed how she personally helped shape the role, the challenges of being a cybernetically enhanced lifeform, and why she thinks of Arium as a precursor to data from Star Trek. The Next Generation. Spoiler Warning. Massive spoilers for Season 2, Episode 9, Project Daedalus, below. Robots, artificial life, and cybernetics have been a part of Star Trek since the original version of the series in 1966. In the classic episode What Are Little Girls Made Of? Kirk and Nurse Chapel encounter a mad scientist who has forgotten he himself is an android, while a more advanced robot, centuries older, creeps around throwing people into ravines. Like most science fiction of the mid-20th century, the majority of robots and a. I. On the original Star Trek were things to be feared. Now, because it's a prequel to the original Trek Star Trek, Discovery is explaining why Kirk and the crew feared artificial or cybernetically enhanced lifeforms so much. In Project Daedalus, a rogue a. I. Program called Control tries to kill the crew of the Discovery while the cybernetically enhanced crew member, Commander Arium, is manipulated by an advanced secret computer program. From the future, it's all a lot to take in, and as Cheeseman reveals, she had no idea what was in store when she first auditioned to play Arium in Season 2 of Discovery. The away team in Episode 9 of Discovery Season 2, including Arium, Hannah Cheeseman, far right. The away team in Episode 9 of Discovery Season 2, including Arium, Hannah Cheeseman, far right. I didn't even know which role that I was auditioning for, Cheeseman told Syfy Wire. I knew it was an android-esque character. Once I got the role, the team did the makeup fittings because all prosthetics are very bespoke. But I did not know at the top of the season of what I was stepping into. What Cheeseman was stepping into was complicated, not only because Project Daedalus finds Arium briefly turning against her shipmates, but also because Cheeseman was not the first actress to play Arium. In Season 1, the character was played by Sarah Midditch, who still appears on Discovery as a crewmember named Nilsson. You saw Midditch in the season premiere in the Shuttle Bay, standing next to Tilly when they're angled that asteroid. While Midditch's reasons for leaving the role aren't entirely clear, Cheeseman does make it very clear that Season 1 Arium and Season 2 Arium are very much friends in real life. Before going to the set the first time, I had a very long conversation with Sarah Midditch. She gave me the ins and outs of her take on the character. We spent half a day on set, where she and I stood by my station and she explained to me, this is where the spore drive is. This is what I do when we engage the spore drive.